Hi, I'm Suzanne Brennan, Executive Director of Lounsbury House, and I'd like to thank the Ridgefield Historical Society for this chance to document our response to COVID. As COVID began making its way around the globe, we were closely watching the news and paying attention to state and local guidelines. This was late February, early March. Um, we made the difficult decision to close the house on Friday the 13th, Friday, March 13th, and uh, the staff and I began working remotely at that time. I did post my cell number at the front door because we really do pride ourselves on accessibility and it was distressing to think that somebody might have a question or, or a special request and I wanted them to be able to reach out to us. Um, the house was built in 1896 and um, she's got a, a lot of needs here. So fortunately, our caretaker who lives nearby did check in daily to make sure all of our maintenance needs were being met. At that same time, we began reaching out to all of our wedding and private event clients um, so that we could reschedule everyone. Um, we offered a lot of assurances and handled special requests as best we could. There was so much uncertainty at that time. Um, we really committed ourselves to being as compassionate as possible. Anything we didn't, we weren't quite sure of, didn't understand, we tried to make up for in a compassionate and understanding way. Um, most of our clients did reschedule. We had very few cancellations. And uh, even now, as COVID lingers, we are still doing our best to proactively and confidently help our party planners and brides navigate the restrictions for events. And it is very challenging. Um, as March moved into April, it became clear that we were going to need to cancel all of our beloved community events for 2020, everything. Most of those events serve some fundraise, fundraising component. Um, it, it meant canceling our senior lunches, the bunny brunch, uh, our pride party, family day, and more. Um, everything was taken off the calendar. As a town-owned nonprofit, that receives no funding from local government, eliminating many of these events was a, a tough new reality um, for us to embrace. So we adapted by moving to a virtual format uh, for most of our marketing, um, doing everything we could to attract new clients, uh, continue to woo current clients. Uh, we created new wedding packages on a smaller scale. We reached out personally to some of our more dedicated donors. We added extra emphasis on membership and more. A lot of very creative, inventive, out of the box thinking here. Um, Lounsbury House, fortunately, we did qualify for an EIDL grant, economic injury disaster loan, as well as paycheck, uh, paycheck protection uh, for our staff. Uh, this was something that became available through the Small Business Administration, and we were grateful to have that um, as an added resource for us. Um, neither one of those will need to be repaid because of our qualifying circumstance, so thank you. Uh, current state gathering guidelines limits our occupancy to 25 <clears throat> guests, staff, and vendors inside. It's not a lot. Um, and up to 100 outside, which is manageable um, as long as the weather cooperates. We are hopeful that the indoor numbers will be increased as part of the state's phase three reopening plan over the next 30 to 60 days, fingers crossed. Um, we did host two smaller weddings in July that required a lot of oversight. It's very important to us to ensure the health and safety of um, not only our guests, but our staff and vendors too. 
um, masks, increased ventilation, pre-plated meals, social distancing, restricted access, uh, regular disinfecting of common surfaces, and a restroom attendant now are all a, a part of our new party protocol. Finding hand sanitizer and other cleaning supplies for the house uh, was difficult at times, but made much easier for us through the generosity of a local um, restaurant owner who graciously would add our um, supply need to his weekly order. And uh, we're very grateful for that. <clears throat> Many times I have thought about how COVID is the second pandemic that Lounsbury House has lived through. Uh, the first one being the Spanish flu of 1918. It's a strong reminder that this is a temporary situation. I remind myself and others of that constantly. Um, but also it's critically important that we all reduce the risk, doing whatever we can to keep one another safe and healthy. Um, as a fourth generation Ridgefielder, my own great grandmother died as a young mom during the 1918 Spanish flu, which, which swept through Ridgefield. <clears throat> There is one fundamental truth that I hold very close to my heart. It always gives me hope, no matter what circumstance I'm facing. And that is, together, we can do extraordinary things. And I am so proud that our Lounsbury team has come together. Passionately proud of that. Not only uh, here as a staff, but for others. We have worked hard to rethink, rework, reschedule, and help out, heal, and serve as role models for positivity. As Ridgefield's Historic Community Center, we have ramped up all of our outreach, not only to clients, but to our local business partners and other nonprofits too. Um, we've also organized meal deliveries to healthcare workers. We've collaborated with the Compassionate Ridgefield organization. Um, we've operated as a food assistance drop-off and pickup location for more than 20 Ridgefield families in need. In other words, we're just doing whatever we can. We rarely say no to a phone call. There's always a way that we feel we can step in and, and help. Um, we, Lounsbury House, has sat proudly on Main Street for over 120 years now, and we plan on continuing to serve as Ridgefield's Community Center for many more years, making good things happen for, for everyone. Um, so, that said, if you are dreaming about your next special event, please give us a call. Our calendar is filling quickly for 2021 and 2022. Um, thank you all uh, for listening to this. And um, again, together, we can make great things happen. And God bless.